Another important thing in Moho that you, you have to learn is uh, masking. The, uh, the important usage of the masking is, for example, it can use a lot of work in, in Moho. For example, we have an eye area that we want to move the pupil of, uh, pupil of the eye in the eye area. And we want to this area masking that. So now as you can see, we are going to bone, manipulate bone. I will be explaining it more, but I just want to explain here. As you can see, it changed the eye positions, but it does not <clears throat> uh, go outside of the eye area. So this is masking. Uh, let's create a simple scene to better understanding that the masking is very easy but you have to learn some tricks <clears throat> first i draw three layer layer number one layer number two and layer number three in each in each layer we draw uh, some shape for example this is an eye area this is an eye area layer number one in a layer we hide it in a layer number two we create an eye, for example, black pupil, like this, and then move it a little up. You can turn it on. This is an eye pupil that it's want to move in that area, and we want to cut this. Area. For example, <clears throat> we want to look at this for this for, and we want to mask this shape by this shape by this layer. So. The main masking, the layer, layer have to be below. It's very important. The positioning of the lever in Moho, very important. And the third uh, shape for, give you more example about the masking. It's a, for, um, for explain more. I choose this here. <clears throat> okay, so. The layering is here is very important. So for masking, for creating masking, you have to group them first, holding shift to uh, select all of them, right click and group with selection. And we have a group that we want to beginning masking. If you select the layer, double click, as you can see, we don't have any masking tab here. So for a masking, you have to first go to the folder, double click, and here we have a masking. I don't know why is this, but it's it. Uh, you have to <clears throat> create masking by this and group mask. You have to hide all. You have to first active hide all and then hit OK. And as you can see, the masking system is <clears throat> giving to your group. And as you can see, all of these two layer masking by layer that are uh, at the zero hierarchy of your the bottom hierarchy of your, your folder. And as you can see, if you move your eye, as you can see, it's masking. You like that and everything's finished. Nice. And that's it. Double click. And as you can see, the masking option appear here. And I want to explain it. Mask this layer. Okay. Don't mask this layer. Hit apply. And then as you can see, it does not mask it. Nice. Add to mask. It means this is our mask area and it's add to our area. Oh, apply it. Don't forget. I think the layering of is important. We make it in this layer. And as you can see, it does not have any masking area. Okay, add to mask. Double click, masking. Don't mask this layer, sorry. Add to mask, apply. And as you can see, it add to the mask. The layering of is, it, it's, it's very important. If you want to add something to the, the as you can see, this is our the masking area. And we add this shape to the area of this mask. And now you can see the, uh, this ellipse here. Add to mask, but keep invisible. Apply, as you can see, it add to the mask area, but 
it can is you can uh, do a lot of thing here subtract from the mask this layer will be invisible as you can see it's subtract from the mask <clears throat> uh, subtract from the mask and apply as you can see it's subtract mask you can create some other effect with this clear mask then add this to the uh, layer to it subtract from the mask subtract from mask yeah it's deleting from the mask clear mask then add this layer to it here you can see something like this or clear the mask then add to the this layer to invisible it it will be, it will be invisible and if you have some stroke you can uh, exclude that from uh, being masked for example we come here we selected this um, shape add a stroke to that and bring it back to layer selection going to the here double click masking and here you can exclude don't forget to apply it as you can see it exclude um, stroke from masking don't forget to apply 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 nice so add to mask mask this layer and as you can see it's masked by the layer of the below so the hierarchy in a folder is very important the layer that you want to mask it, it has to be in a bottom hierarchy and the two or three or more other uh, object that you want to mask by this has to be above this layer. And the layer that you want to play with the masking, add to mask, subtract from the mask, you don't use them a lot, but they are have to be in the layer after the main mask. As you can see, it's add and look at the shaped the symbols are on a layer so this is a mask system it's a little complex but it has to use that like this first you have to select them and push them on a folder double click on a folder in a masking hide all don't forget don't forget to apply and then uh, after that all of our masking is done and uh, the objects that are at the bottom hierarchy mask other objects above it the other object above this layer is masking by this only level and you can add subtract another layer to this if you want okay this is masking and we use a lot in uh, eye system hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release